Guys, back in December, Fox 46 and its parent company, Nexstar, launched a campaign to feature remarkable metro area women all throughout this month. So we asked you to tell us about the remarkable women in your life, and you answered. Fonda Bryant is a well-known advocate for mental health, not only throughout the Charlotte area, but across all 50 states. Here is her story. Fonda Bryant is a lifesaver. Last year, she came across some social media comments from a college football player she followed through a friend. They seemed a little troubling, so she reached out to the player. He said, well, I really could use your help. He said, because I'm struggling too. He said, two weeks before you reached out to me, I was planning my suicide. Go back 25 years, and it was Fonda herself who was a single mother struggling with depression and contemplating suicide until a hero stepped in. That hero, her aunt Spanky. She went into action. A police officer knocked on my door, told me he was going to take me to a mental health facility because she had, had taken out the papers on me. I didn't know it, and uh, it was really ugly. From that point on, Fonda decided to make a change, a change that would save her life and the lives of others. Son Wes remembers. A few years later, when her depression reared its ugly head once again, he had to intervene. Wes knew his mom wanted to help other people. It just took a little extra convincing. But I said, well, hey, you know, what do you really want to do? And she said, I really want to help people. And I just asked her, I said, hey, you know, what's stopping you? You know, there's, there's nothing stopping you. Fonda has been going nonstop ever since. She went to see her therapist, then got involved with the National Alliance on Mental Illness. Then came the signs. After hearing about a parking deck where people kept dying, Fonda took action. She went to the parking deck management and convinced them to put up suicide prevention signs on the 6th Street parking deck in Uptown Charlotte. The signs are now up in parking decks all over town. For me, it's all about being proactive, not waiting until um, something happens. Fana is also a certified instructor in QPR suicide prevention training. She trains businesses, attorneys, and universities on how to recognize and respond to the signs of a possible mental health crisis. Then there's what she calls her baby, a nonprofit called Wellness Action Recovery. It's all about getting people to take care of their mind through healthy choices, exercise, and community events. I can't say, you know, how proud I am of her because it takes a lot for people to uh, get off the couch, so to speak, and go after what it is that they're passionate about, you know. What my aunt did for me, she just didn't do for me. She did it for so many people that I have helped. So I'm grateful for this honor that y'all bestowed upon me, but it goes to my aunt too. Remarkable she is, and spanky too. Evidence of her work can be found in so many places, even the Charlotte skyline. This past October, the skyscrapers were lit up in green for the first time ever to bring awareness to mental health. Now we'll introduce you to other remarkable women every Tuesday night right now at 10 in March. They're all amazing, of course, and for more special coverage, go to fox46.com.